हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज लिप्सा अगेन विथ यू सो गाइस आई एम गोना मेक अ कंप्लीट वीडियो सीरीज ऑन इंटेलिज जावा मावेन एंड गिट सो प्लीज स्टे ट्यून ऑन टू दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो दैट यू विल गेट टू नो ऑल दीस थिंग्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड वॉच द वीडियो सीरीज टिल द एंड सो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोना क्रिएट अ सिंपल मावेन प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग इंटेलिज आईडिया so i hope you know how to install intellij idea in your machine so if you don't know please uh, let me know in the comment box so that i can help you on that also in a separate video but for this video i am assuming you all of know how to install intellij idea in your machine okay so without wasting much time so let's get started guys so first of all if you can see so i have already opened my intellij idea so this is the welcome page of intellij idea so as i mentioned in one of my videos you have these option like new project open and get from vcs so new project means if you want to create a new project from the scratch you can go with this option and if you are opening a existing project in your intellij idea then you can go with this option and if you are going to clone or import a project from vcs vcs means version control system like git so you can go with this third option get from vcs so now we are going to create a new project new maven project from the scratch by using intellij idea so i'll go with the first option so let me first click on this one new project so see here you can see new project here you can give your project name so i can give like my first maven project okay i'll give the name like this and the location this is the default location where the all the intellij project store that is idea project if you want to change then you can browse and select your directories and save your project okay so for now i'll leave it as it so then you have the language so uh, this is by default selected java if you are developing your project with kotlin ruby or anything else then you will choose this option so we are going to create a java project isn't it so we'll go with the default option that is java then build system of course we are going to create a maven project so maven is a building tool you know so we'll go with the maven build system then your jdk so i have installed the jdk 1.8 that's why it's showing here so if if you have installed any other jdk like 17 11 then you can select your jdk clear so i have selected this jdk 1.8 okay so now click on this advanced setting so this add sample code it will automatically generated some sample code for you so leave it as is in advanced setting you have the group id and the artifact id so group id you know so we can provide our group id like org dot example is there so we can give like what um i can give like org dot let's say i'm giving marvin project like this so this is my group id and the artifact uh, name i'll leave it as is my first mapping project which is same as my project name okay this is my artifact id if you want you can change your artifact id as well then i'll click here to create my first mapping project so it will take some time you can see scanning is going on okay see here my first maven project is created in my intellij idea so let me expand this one let me go to the src folder so in src we have the main and test in the main you have the java folder so or dot maven project we have given the what we have given the group id so this is or dot maven project and uh, here you have the resource folder and test folder so inside this java you can add your main uh, code and in the test you can write the test cases clear so this is the maven structure and as we have created a sample code here in the main.java you can see a sample code is there okay if you want you can delete this one or add your own code okay so according to your requirement you can add your own code so i'll leave it as is this main uh, class so you can update your main class or you can just delete this one and inside this or that maven project you can create your own class according to your requirement okay then the next thing is pom.xml see so this is a maven project isn't it so pom.xml will be there so we have created the group id or that maven project 
and my first Maven project. This is the artifact ID and this is the version 1.0 hyphen snapshot. So if you want, you can change the version as well. Okay. So what is your project version? You can change this one. And this is the properties we have. Maven compiler we have chosen eight. Okay. So this is the properties. And inside this form dot XML, you can add. Any dependencies or plugin according to your project requirement. Clear? So that's how you can create a simple Maven project using IntelliJ IDEA. And one more thing, when you add the dependencies and plugin in your form dot XML, so it will build your project and download all these dependencies from the remote Maven repository to your local repository. Clear? So let me quickly run this main. Class to check whether our application is running or not. See, hello and welcome. I is equal to one, two, three, four, five is printed. So if I go to my main class, here is see hello and welcome. Then a for loop is there to print I one two five. Clear. So that's how you can create a simple Maven project. So we have click on that generate sample code. That's why this main class is created with this main method. Okay, so you can delete this main class and add your code accordingly. Okay, you can create your own class. You can add your own code. Okay, so in the extreme right, you can see as it is a Maven project, you can see this is the my first Maven project is created, and you can see the entire life cycle of the Maven, like how to clean a project. You can use this one to clean the project, validate the project, compile, test, packaging. Verify, install, cite, and also deploy. So this is the entire life cycle of this project. You can use this one to do the other job. Clear? So that's how you can create a simple Maven project using IntelliJ IDEA. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Thank you.